Hi everyone and welcome back and if you're new, welcome. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what medications I am currently taking. I received my kidney transplant a year and five months ago, so my medications have changed. I do have up on my channel a video of my medications about two or three weeks into my transplant and I was taking a ton. I was taking about 12 12 or more medications. Um, now I'm taking about eight or so. I haven't counted them exactly, but it does end up decreasing as time passes. Um, I remember when I recently got my transplant, I would always ask my doctor, when are you gonna decrease this medication or when are you gonna lower this dose? And let me tell you guys now that if you're like me, it usually takes about a year or more for them to start decreasing all your medications. At least the prednisone, it took them about a year. Um, for them to start dropping medications, it took them about eight to nine months. There are some medications that they will drop within two months or three months of your transplant, but that's usually the antifungal medication. So let's just hop right into this video, guys. This is my current dose, but I have in the past dropped down to zero. It really just depends on how my lab is doing and then they just slowly increase it from there. But this is given to suppress your immune system and it's given to kidney, liver, heart transplant patients. I'm taking Carvedilol, which is the blood pressure medication to help control my blood pressure. It hasn't been high, but I just prefer to take one just to be on the safe side. So what I do is just cut it in half and take it twice a day. I also cut my prednisone in half because these are 10 milligram tablets and I'm currently taking five. These are given to a lot of transplant patients and for other different things, but I'm super happy that they cut down my dose. It took them about a year and at one point they even increased it to 40. So it's exciting to be back to five. I'm still taking Bayer Aspirin. I've been taking this since the first day I got my transplant. They just give it to make sure your transplant does not have any blood clots and that the blood is flowing correctly. I'm also taking Fomotidine, which is also known as Pepsid, and this is basically to control any stomach acids or any side effects from the cell sub in the prednisone. I also take vitamin D2, and this is just to make my bones stronger and to get that good, rich vitamin. So guys, those are all the medications that I'm taking orally. However, I do take one more, which is given to me through an IV, so I go to the infusion clinic once a month and I receive the medication Belatacept. Belatacept is just a replacement and Progap is given to a lot of kidney transplant patients to help suppress the immune system. I'm not taking it because when I was about 14 years old, I was taking it to slow down the kidney failure process on my native kidneys. However, that did not work because I found out later I was allergic, it caused me to have seizures, and I ended up in the hospital hallucinating, and it was just a long journey. So they don't give me that. I just received the Bellata set once a month, and it's not too bad. You kind of get used to going to the clinic once a month and getting that um, IV. So those are all of my medications, guys. If you guys have any questions about any one of them, leave them down in the comments below. And if you guys have any questions to anything, definitely comment them also, because I wanna answer as many questions as I can. If I get a ton of questions, then I might do a Q&A video. So thank you guys so much. Please don't forget to like this video if this video helped you guys out or if you guys learned something from it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you guys, bye everyone. Have a blessed and beautiful day, guys.